Hello everyone. Today, let us focus on the cross which is central to our Christian faith. What specifically comes to mind when we look at the cross? First and foremost, we are reminded of Jesus' suffering, physical, spiritual and mental. The cross is a symbol of suffering. What did Jesus suffer? Jesus suffered opposition, rejection, humiliation, alienation, loneliness and pain. He was accused of being a blasphemer and a lawbreaker. He was called a glutton and a drunkard. He was betrayed and denied. He was bound and scourged. He was falsely accused and condemned. He was mocked and spat upon. He was whipped and beaten. He was stripped and shamed. He was reviled and insulted. He was nailed and pierced. He was forsaken by men and God at the greatest hour of need. Secondly, we are reminded of Jesus' love for God and for all mankind. The cross is a symbol of love. Jesus bore this unbearable load of physical and emotional pain and the heavy weight of the cross because of his loving obedience to God the Father and his immense love for humankind. He accepted rejection and shame so that we can have honor and salvation. He suffered so that he could relate to us in our sufferings. He suffered to reconcile us to God and to bring us to eternal glory. He suffered to free us from our sins. He suffered to save us from the punishment due to our sins. He died so that we have eternal life. All his sufferings were foretold by the prophets. Jesus himself knew about it. All this was too much for him to the extent that he almost gave up the task. But because it was the will of the Father for him to suffer in this way and die for us, he said, Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Thirdly, we are reminded of Jesus' victory over sin and death. The cross is a symbol of hope and victory. God not only demonstrated his love for humankind, but also proved that he is still God and he is still in charge of this world and that the final victory will be his. Friends, as we gaze upon the cross, Jesus calls on us not just to, to know and remember what he has accomplished for us, but also embrace it. Embrace means to accept the cross of Jesus wholeheartedly and all it stands for. Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross and follow me. Anyone who wants to save his life will lose it, but anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. So, friends, following Jesus means embracing our cross or embracing our suffering. That is to say, embracing Jesus means embracing the cross of suffering given to us in this life, just as Jesus was given his in his life. Regardless of how difficult life may be, if we accept our cross, we will also share Christ's victory and glory. Yes, the cross changes everything in our life. If, so far, nothing has changed in our life, then let us be aware that we have not embraced the cross with our whole heart. Today, we are provided with a great opportunity to genuinely believe and embrace the cross as Jesus did, so that we may know a peace that surpasses understanding, a peace the world cannot give. Amen. God bless you.